Alhamdulillahi wa barakatuh. Give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was uh, spread our lives to this moment. May he accept our ibadat. Amin. Uh, welcome back to well, welcome back to the next um, Nahu class, Nahu class 48. And the topic for tonight is Ahwal Bina il Amr. Ahwal Bina il Amr. The state of declension of imperative verbs. So we know that imperative verbs are formed from the second person, the second person verbs of um, present tense verbs, the second person forms of the present tense verb. That is, it is formed from motor of trailer motorium. So, for example, let us take year two as example. The second person of uh, the year two, the second person verbs of year two go are. Uh, we have tektubu, tektubani, tektubuna, and um, tektubuna. So we can only use imperative, you know, when you want to command someone. It has to be someone you are talking to, someone you are facing. So that is the mohot of the second person. So we can only use them for these four forms of verb. The male, the, um, the male singular, the male dual and the male plural, the female singular, the dual is the same thing, and the female plural. So we have the five those five forms. We have those five forms. So from tektubu, tektubani, tektubuna, tektub, tektubna, and tektubina. So tektubina is missing in this table. So those five forms. Those five forms are those are we form our amma form. So how do we do is they are formed by removing the harmful mudora that is for example let's take this text book for example if we want to form it from this text book we remove the ta that because the ta here is the harmful mudora then we now what we now replace the domo on this bar we replace it with sukun so that is how we form uh amru so in other words, the mudorio ending doma will be replaced with sukun, while those other verbs that are ending with noon will be erased. So the noon here will be erased. The noon here will not be erased because this noon is a pronoun. So but the other ones will be erased. While So only the only exception to those known, like I mentioned earlier, just known on this one, which cannot be erased. Why? Because it's a verb. So first, let's see how we how we form final uh, amlu before we go to the enroll. So we have tektubu, tektubu, which is from kataba. This is uh, the singular form of second person male, singular form for second person, which is male. So we have tektubu. So the first step. Remove the harmful mudora. After removing the harmful mudora, we give it sukun. So we replace the domo with sukun. So we have kaf sukun, ta domo, and ba sukun. This we cannot pronounce. A word cannot start with sukun. We won't be able to pronounce it. So we introduce what we call the aliful waslu or hamzatul wasli. Aliful wasli or what? Hamzatul wasli. So hamzatul wasli takes domo. Because the tie is taking domo, and that's what it takes domo. So we have uktu, which means right, a command, right. So when we go to the next one, which is the second person dual, we have taktubani as the verb. We have taktubani from the rule. What do we do? We remove the noon. We remove what? The noon and the harmful mudora. So harmful mudora has left, then the noon has left. But the calf is taking sukun. So what, what do we do? We add uh, aliful wasli. So we have what? Uktuba. Instead of what? From what? Tektubani. So tektubani, when we change it to imperative verb, it becomes uktuba. Talking to two males or two females. Right. Then the next one will be what? Tektubina. The next one will be what? Tektubina. That is the singular form of mukhotob for female of mukhotoba singular form of your second person 
female here. Tech to be now. So what do we do? We remove the known because that's the rule. You know, we remove the known and the word harmful mudoro. So we are we are left with calf taking sukun. When we add hamza to lastly, we have what to be. That one is not written here. Uh, that's an oversight. Uh, sorry for that. It is not written here. So we have yet to be from tech to be now. Remove the known and the harmful mudoro. Then you add hamza uh, to lastly. So we have to be talking to a female. Female singular female means what? Right. Then now we move to the plural male. We have tatubuna. Same thing. We remove the harmful mudoro and remove the words the noon. So we are we are left with oktubu. Oktubu. Same now for female, you know, this noon on this one is something we don't play with. We don't play with it because the pronoun, just like the wow here, the wow in tektubuna, the noon on this one is also a pronoun, so we can't remove it. So it stays like that. The only thing we are removing is just the harmful mudoro. And we add amda atul wasli to be able to pronounce the word because we cannot pronounce a word that starts with sukun. So we have what? Oktubna. The noon is there to stay. So that is the first construction. The second construction is uh, there are two types of noon such that we, are, we attach them to, to verbs to show emphasis. So when we attach this noon to our imperative verb, it is used also to show emphasis. And it is going to change some of the things we have in the verb. So those nouns are called noun at taukid. Two nouns of taukid. We have two. The first one is uh noun taukid asakila, the heavy noun of emphasis. The heavy noun of emphasis. It is noon denoted with noun that has shedda, noon mishadada. So that is what the noun taukid asakila. Then the second one is noun taukid al khofifa. It is what is just denoted with no no sakin. That is no no sakina. No taking sukun. So those two uh those two characters, when we add them to fill amul, it shows emphasis and changes uh some of the qualities of the verb. So for example, we have uktubana. Uktubana, how is that form? It's formed from our fill amru uktub. You know, uktub is coming from yetubu. You remove the harmful mudora and you give the domo sukun. You domo the bar, you give it sukun. That is how we have oktub after adding our amda to wasi. So when we have our oktub, add no no uh, which is what astakila, no no taqid astakila. Add it to the oktub. We have what oktubana. So that is what right with great emphasis. So the emphasis of no no taqid astakila is greater than that of Nunu Tawqid al khafifa and al khafifa is greater than the normal imperative word. So Nunu Tawqid al khafifa is just Nunu Sukun, the same way we've added our Thakila, add it to uh, the Fienlul Amru. So add it to the Fienlul Amri, we have what? Oktuban. Oktuban. So the first one is Oktuban na, the second one is Oktuban. And the emphasis of the first one is greater than that of the second one. So that is uh, the second construction. The third one is when we have a weak letter at the end of the uh, of the verb. When we have a weak letter at the end of the imperative verb. So uh, of the verb, how are we going to form our imperative verb? So from da'a, this alif here in da'a is a weak letter. So when we take it to mudori, it becomes yad it becomes yet on. You know, normally, what we are supposed to do is remove domo from a singular verb because yet on here is a singular verb. Singular for third person, male. Yet on is singular. So, you know, generally in singular, we are supposed to remove domo and give it to kun. But here, there is no domo. The domo is on the eye. And we have wow here. And it is not the normal shape of a verb. So, what do we do? We remove what? Harmful mudoroa, and we remove the what the weak letter. The wow here is a weak letter. It is not, it is not a verb like the one we have in uh, yet to buna. The wow there is a verb, so we will not remove the one. Said we remove the noon, but this one is different. The verb comes with a weak letter. Da -a. in mudori, the uh, alif is changed. To wow, we have yet the so instead of removing the domo and the ain, we can't do that. No, we leave it. 
we remove the weak letter instead and the harmful withdrawal. So after doing that, we now add uh we add what's it called? We add alful waslu to it. So we have udra. We have what udra because the ayn is taking domo. So we give the anders waslu domo to be able to pronounce it. So we have what udra. Then we have kodo. It gives us yakudi. The yao is also a weak letter. What do we do? We remove it. We remove the yao completely. So we have what ikudi. The alif here is supposed to to be here. So that is what. Then we have nada. This is a four-letter verb. Nada. This is not supposed to be uh, a dotted here. Sorry for that mistake. Nada. Then Mudori, we have yunadi. We have yunadi. So what do we do? We remove half of Dora and the weak letter. So we have what? Nadi. Why are we not adding Amda to lastly here? Because the first letter of the word is taking a haraka. It is not sukun, so we can pronounce it nadi. So the reason we've been adding um, to Lwasmi is because of uh, the sukun we, are, we, are, we have in the first letter of the word. So we have what nadi. Then general rules guiding fin amu. Let's go over it again. So fin amu will be declined with sukun, magniyu ala sukun. Okay, so these are the rules of uh, the declension. So the fin amu will be magniyu. Fin lo amu will be what? Magniyu ala sukun. In general, it is, in general, it's supposed to be magniyu ala sukun. So when nothing is added to it, fin lo amu is what? Magniyu ala sukun. It is those other additions that made us what? Change the enrob of fin lo amu. So naturally, when it is not added to anything, it is what? Magniyu ala sukun. And also, when no no niswa is added to it, it still remains magniyu ala sukun because when we check the fin, the verb taking it, when we check the verb taking it, just before the noon niswa, we see sukun, that is the last letter of the verb. So, for example, taking uktubna, for example, the bar here, we take sukun. So, the sukun is telling us that the train armor is what? Magnijun ala sukun. Magnijun ala sukun. So, the ones that we have magnijun ala sukun are uktub, magnijun ala sukun. Uktubna, magnijun ala sukun. So that is how we have it. Then it will, it will be what? It will be declined with erasing known. It will be declined with what? Erasing known. If those uh, modality verbs are the ones that have known. For example, the verb for dual and the verb for plural meaning. So they have known. Kataba, yetubu, yetubani, yetubuna. So that noon, that noon, we now form our declension that is Mabniyu ala hadfin noon because we are removing the noon. Because we are removing the noon, we say it is what Mabniyu ala hadfin noon. That will be the error uh, of those verbs that have noon, except noon niswa. Because I, like I said earlier, noon niswa will just take. Um, no, no, this one will just be what Mabniyu ala sukun, like it's supposed to be. But the other ones that have known, it will be what Mabniyu ala hadfin noon. So, which noon are we talking about? The noon in Mudorium that we removed when we were about to form Amru. So, all those noon, all those verbs that we removed noon for, they, are, they will be what Mabniyu ala hadfin noon. Then, finally, for those ones, that we remove uh, the weak letter for they will be what Mabniyu ala hadfi alfil illa harfil illa Mabniyu ala hadfi alfil illa. So the ones for Mabniyu ala hadfi known they are popularly known as what al afalul khamsa. Those five verbs that have known at the end. The one with aliful is name that is taking yet kula as example we have yet kulani yet kuluna yet kulina. Um, Yedkulani, Yedkuluna, Tadkulina, Tadkulani is one of them, and we have Tadkuluna. So those five, those five verbs are those ones. When we form Amru with them, we remove the noon and the in Europe, The analysis is what Mabniyu ala has been known. Then the ones we have sick letter at the end of it, what Mabniyu 
ala hadfi arfil illa ala hadfi harfil illa so that means ud'u what fi'lul amru fi'lul amri mabniyu ala hadfi arfil illa so let's take uh, an exercise on the grammatical analysis so we have uktub from kataba yaktubu remove the harf mudara and give the last letter which is ba so we have uktub so the inrob is what fi'lul amrin mabniyun ala sukun uktuba fi'lul amru amri mabniyu ala hazfi nun because the verb from the mudarion is what yaktubani or taktubani so what do we do we remove the harf mudara and remove the nun so because we have removed the nun the inrob becomes mabniyu ala hazfi nun uktubu the same thing because it's coming from what yaktubuna or taktubuna we remove what Ha harfu mudara and we remove the noon because we have removed the noon it becomes fainlu amri mabnijun ala hadfi noon. But when we get to noon on this one, when we get to noon, I know we have uktubna. We have uktubna with noon on this one. We have uktubna with noon on this one. So just fainlu amri mabniju ala sukun. Literally, we now mention the reason is still same with sukun because normally without uh the final amru being attached to anything it is what it is just without it being attached to anything it is just uh what do we call it it's just mobniju ala sukun but after it is attached to um other particles we remove the noon or we remove half from illa it becomes مبني على حرف العلا أو مبني مبني على حذف النون على حذف عرف العلا أو على حذف النون. but now with نون نسوا we are not removing anything so we still say مبني على سكون because we can see سكون on the bar because we can see سكون on the bar we say مبني على على سكون we now say the reason because we have something else after the bar let's saw لي the نون نسوا let's saw لي the نون نسوا so don't forget, Amru, Fenlo Amru is only formed from Mokhotob. So we can only form it, form it from Taktubu, Taktubani, Taktubuna, Taktubina, Taktubani, Taktubna. So we are going to just have five forms of the verb. So we have Uktubna, we have Fenlo Amrin, Mabnijun, Al Al Fatih, Litisoli, Binun, and Taukiri Safila. So when we add the nouns of emphasis to it, you know. It gives it fat high. It gives it last letter fat high. So we have from Kataba, Yatubu, Oktub. Adding no 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 tauki. We have Oktubana. So the sukun on the back changes to what fat high. We have Oktubana. So when we want to do the analysis, we want to do the analysis. We say finlu finlu amrin mabniyu ala ala al fatih. Now that mabniyu ala al fatih is different from what you know. We have to mention the reason why. Why is it not Mabniyu ala al-Fati? It's because what? It is connected to Nunu Tawqid. So we say, Mabniyu ala al-Fati, it is solihi, the Nunu Tawqid al-Taqila. Uktubna, Uktuban. You know, we are still talking about Nunu Tawqid here. So the first one, Uktubanna, the Nunu taking shada for Taqila. That is for the heavy Nunu of emphasis. For the light one, we have Uktuban, the Nunu taking Sukun. So what do we do? We say finlo amri mabniyu ala al fatih because we see fatha on the bar. Liti solihi binun taukid al khafifa. So then for the bonds we erase the weak letters. We have udu from daa yadu. We remove the harful ala and the harful mudara. We have udu. We have udu. We say finlo amri mabniyu ala hafi harful ala. Ala what hafi harful ala. Why? Lianahu mantalul akhir. Lianahu what? Mantalul akhir. Mantalul akhir means sticking at the end. So the 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 verb is what is stick at the end. That is why the analysis is mabniyu ala hasfi arifil illa because we remove the stick letter. The mudarim add a stick letter at the end. So when when we want to form the amru, we remove the stick letter. So while doing the analysis of the amru, we say what? We say finlo amri mabniyu ala hasfi arfil illa because that was what we did to form our finlo amru. Then we now state the reason. 
لأنهو معتل الأخير تو ناد نادي يسفين له أمر مبني على حذف عرف العلة لأنه معتل الأخير تو دوز أوت دوز أو بفهم we do the analysis of final amr from uh from natural one octop to the ones we add known in the modorium tectubani tectubuna tectubina what do we do we remove the known to give us our what our final amr so we say final amr mabniyu ala has been known why because that was what we did to get the final amr Obnuyo ala hasin nun. Uktubu. Obnuyo ala hasin nun. Uktubi. Obnuyo ala hasin nun. Then, when we now have nun in this one, we say, Obnuyo ala sukun. The tisoli, the nun in this one. Then those ones we have are extra attachments. Nun utawkira al-khofifa, nun utawkira al-thiqila. It's Obnuyo ala al-fati, the tisoli, the nun utawkira. Then for the weak verbs, the verbs with weak letters at the end, we say Mabniyu ala suf ala hasfi arfi alila because that was what we did to get our final amr. We pray Allah Subhanahu wa Taala makes us understand it more than it has been taught, and we pray it makes the knowledge beneficial one. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.